Hello and welcome to my channel. So this university in Italy is willing to give PhD applicants 87,991 euros for a three-year PhD program and as much as 113,851 euros for a four-year program. It's like it's right here on the screen. Like when I came across it, I, I didn't believe it. I wasn't sure. So I actually had to go to Google to actually convert that into my currency. I can't even pronounce <laughs> this amount. And let's look at it. In. Let's use Belgian. Let's look at how much this cost in Naira. Um, Naira. Where's Naira? I'm just going to change it to Naira and we'll see. And that's like f almost 40, 43, 43 million Naira. So it's like, it's a lot of money, but this scholarship actually entails everything during your study. So it includes um, your, your duration of study, the contribute, like your research experiences, your study and research abroad. So if you have to travel abroad, they will cover it. If you have to do research activities, they will cover it. They will give you food as a cafeteria co service course they contribute to your housing and like your general experiences so during your three to four years like they have you covered so what's this university about so what you have to do is you know i always show you how to do it yourself because it's very important to know how to fish just go to google and type saint anna phd scholarship the first link that comes up just click on it it will bring you to the page uh, I told you about. And from here, you could just click on the PhD programs or you go to training and you choose PhD programs. You also do have master's diploma and MSc's degree. But in today's video, I'm focusing on the PhD programs. If you want us to talk about the master's, let me know in the comment section and kindly like this video and also subscribe. You help my channel grow. Thank you. So now let's go back. So you click on PhD program and this is the portal that comes up. These are the programs they have. They also have a variety of programs that you could pick from. The first thing they tell you is that all positions are fully funded. What this means is once you get admitted, you are going to get fully funded. There are no tuition fees for the enrollment to the PhD. And how do you apply? And even the good thing is even people with undergraduate degrees can apply for this PhD. So you should really take advantage of this. If your program is in this list, you just have to apply. Who knows? You could be selected. So the admission requirements are a master's degree, either an MS or an ME or equivalent title. Undergraduate students may also apply if they will graduate within 30th of September. So even if you are still in school and within 30th of September you will graduate, you could apply for this. If you are already done, you can apply for this. So everybody can apply. You just have to check if your program has is there. So these are the programs here. There are a number law, economics, so a lot of non-STEM programs. There's AI, there's sustainable development, like gender studies like it's a lot but what we are interested in we are going to look at the call and the brochure so i'm going to start first with this so i think i've opened it here now so this is it this is the admission call and what do they say this is something that i'm not going to read through but you have to read so these are the phd and for each position they give you the number of people they would be taken for each position so just take your time and go through the score. Just read. So the one like the start date for the program is October 2023. So just take your time and go through through it. So now let's look at the brochure. The brochure gives you all the programs as well as like everything you need to know about it. So if you could look, they are the fourth at the world level of the best young universities under 50 years old so it's still a, a newly a new university and they are the second at the national level on the census of 30 so it's a good it's a good university it's a good university so take your time and read the brochure so this is like a general overview we've already looked at the admission requirements masters and undergrad can apply 
even within 31st of October, you could still apply. So the selection is your qualification is you need a CV and your academic transcript. The abstract of your MSc or MA thesis, a research project where the candidate is asked to briefly outline a research proposal for their PhD studies. And guess what? I have a video on how to prepare a research proposal. But watch till the end because I'm going to also give you tips on what to do to prepare this research proposal if you have not if you have no idea what to do. So you go to my channel and you just type research proposal or just research, it will come up. So this is a video on how to write a successful research proposal. Use the knowledge here, write it. And if you need help, you could just leave it in the comment section. I might organize a section where I could bring in some people and we'll read and we'll discuss and see how best to improve your research proposal. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, let me know in the comment section. So we've already seen this, but we are also going over. So the call opens every year in January and closes by June and the applications might be submitted online. So in addition to the fully funded scholarships, PhD students will be provided with personal research funds and specific funding for visiting periods abroad. So this is really cool. So let's look at the programs. These are the programs. You just have to pick one and read, but we are going to look at the first one which is a PhD in agrobiodiversity, what you will study, look at it, and um, the highlights, the, the job opportunities you have available, just take your time and read through. And to get to know more about the program, you can scan this, but to make it easier, just copy this PhD in agrobiodiversity, we have it here, you copy that, and you paste it and you paste the name of the university. I oh I don't know why I always see it as Saint Anna by Saint Anna Anna. That will be the very first one that will come up. You will just have to click on that and we go to the program website. Okay, I think I opened another portal, but I'm just gonna click on this to open this. So this is the program of it. Please take your time and read. It's very important. Like if you really want to increase your chances, you need to take your time and read and pick things to help improve your application. So let's look at the application. So for this program, the deadline is May 31st, 2023 at 12 p.m. We still have some time to prepare our document and it's to increase our chances. So these are the curriculum they have. Here are examples of some research areas targeted by the PhD program. So you have to use these areas to actually write your research proposal. This will increase your chances to look at the research gap in these areas and prepare something for them. And it doesn't have to be really long, really. So they have five positions. And uh, the, this is when it's going to start. Now, that this is where the tips start. So this is the first tip prepare your research in this area. The second thing is you look at the, you could also look at the faculty board. They have their series. You could just download one of them. This will give you an idea of also how to structure your CV. So with the CV, it's always the Europa CV because it's in Europe. So you go back to my channel and you type Europass. This is it. Use this idea to prepare your CV. So as you could see, they have the Europa CV and like their work. So use this idea. Very simple. Look at um, how they they explain what they have done. So take a number of them. Use that idea. So there was this. Um, let's just choose another person. Use that idea from their CV to also structure structure yours so this is a personal data work experience scientific activity as you could see it's nothing hushos or nothing um that you cannot do so look at it and structure you yeah, so that is um tip number two tip number three go to the phd student look at the people who have gotten the scholarship what did they do that made them get this scholarship so it looks like for each call this is six five 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 so 
you can pick uh, you can pick somebody i think i already so this person robot i clicked on him so you have his email here but don't send him an email straight out away what you could do is copy the name and go to in this process um google is like one of your very best friends your very best friend you type it and you add the name of the university saint anna his name will will pop up you could look at it but maybe what they have here for him and you could also go to his linkedin to see even if you can find his cv and you could also go to yeah, we look at his linkedin and his research gate some of the articles is written so this is him so we already have his email this is his linkedin take time to read take time to see what he has done but the reason why you need this information is once you prepare your documents you could send him an email that hey Rebel, so i'm applying for this scholarship this is a research proposal i've put together this is my cv could you look at it for me he could agree he could respond and he could not respond but once he does because he's already won the scholarship he knows how best to help you so and also the fourth tip is you could also look at the projects he's doing and some of the papers he has written with this in mind this could also give you suggestions or ideas to write your research proposal so um these are just the links are open so once you are done let's say you are interested in applying we go back to the main page of the universe okay i'm just gonna go back to so it's the okay i'm gonna go and even you could yeah i'm going to go back here to find so call for application we go back to that and uh, online application this is how it looks like we this is it so you just have to create an account if you want me to create another video on the step-by-step -step process of applying let me know in the comment section and if you haven't yet like kindly like comment subscribe and share this will help my channel grow so i'm waiting for you and to hear from me again bye